the velocity of a particle moves along the x-axis is given by the equation v equals 2 minus 4t plus 5t okay, so 3 halves where t is in seconds and v is in meters per second the particle is at the position s equals 3 meters when t is equal to 0 compute the position s when t is equal to 3 seconds compute the velocity when t equals 3 seconds and c compute the acceleration when t equals 3 seconds so in this kind of problem we cannot utilize the three kinematic equations for rectilinear motion with constant acceleration because we have a given v or velocity as a function of time so it follows that acceleration is a function of time making the acceleration variable depending on the values of t therefore we have to consider the problem as rectilinear motion with variable acceleration and the approach that we can use is through calculus so in the previous video it is already said that v is equal to ds over dt or the change in position with respect to the change in time so by substitution ds over dt is equal to 2 minus 4 t squared or 4 t plus 5 t base to 3 halves now if we integrate the equation we can solve for the equation of position s so by integration we have s is equal to 2t minus 4t squared over 2 plus 5t raised to 5 halves over 5 times 2 plus C1 now When t is equal to 0, s is equal to 3 meters. So therefore, we can substitute the value of s3 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 4 c times 0 squared over 2 plus 5 times 0 raised to 5 halves over 5 times 2 plus C1 therefore the value of C1 is equal to 3 we can then rewrite the equation as S equals 2t minus so 4 over 2 is 2 2 t squared 
प्लस टू टी रेस टू फाइव हर्व्स सो इफ यू कैंसल हियर फाइव प्लस सी वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो दिस विल बी अवर इक्वेशन of s or position now compute the position when t is equal to 3 seconds so let's substitute s is equal to 2 times 3 minus 2 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3 raised to 5 halves plus 3. We have S equals 2 times 3 raised to 5 halves plus 3. We have S equals 22.18 meters. And that gives the answer for letter A. Now, compute the velocity when T, so for letter B, velocity when T is equal to 3 seconds. So, just substitute the value of T. So, we have V is equal to 2 minus 40 plus 5 raised to 3 halves. Therefore, we have V is equal to 2 minus 4 times 3. So, 50 plus 5 times 3 raised to 3 halves. So, V is equal to 2 minus 4 times 3 plus 5 times 3 raised to 3 halves we have V is equal to 15.98 meters per second next let us see compute the acceleration when T is equal to 3 seconds so for letter C acceleration when t is equal to 3 second so acceleration is the change in velocity dv over change in time And we have V equals 2 minus 40 plus 5T raised to 3 halves. So if we differentiate the equation for velocity, we have dv over dt is equal to so this will become 0 so 0 minus 4 plus 5 times 3 over 2 times t raised to one half therefore the equation for acceleration is mm, 
negative 4 plus 15 over 2 t raised to 1 half so we have to substitute the value of acceleration when t equals 3 just substitute 3 for t so we have negative 4 plus 15 over 2 times 3 raised to 1 half so we have a equals negative 4 plus 15 over 37.5 times 3 or times the uh, square root of 3 or 3 raised to 1 half so we have an acceleration of 8.99 meters per second squared And that answers, let us see.